protesters in Bahrain are letting its rulers know they have not forgotten last year's brutal crackdown on demonstrators. They've been on the streets opposing the return of the Formula One Grand Prix to Bahrain. It was cancelled last year when Shia protesters rose up against their Sunni leaders. The race got underway in the capital Manama, with heavy police security in neighbouring Shia villages. It seems plans by protesters to block roads to the racetrack have failed. Whilst there's clearly a lot of disruption and violence uh, occurring in Bahrain at the moment, we as F1 uh, you know, participants haven't really seen very much of it at all. This video was released by a group called the Bahrain Media Centre. Al Jazeera can't verify it. It's said to show the body of Salah Abbas Habib Musa. Activists blame police for the death. At one stage, you can hear a man yelling at the police. We filmed you today. You killed him yesterday. Voice and pictures. I am telling you, there's no need to fabricate accusations. I filmed you. The film and the pictures will be a scandal. The Formula One race is the government's chance to try and prove to the world that life has returned to normal in Bahrain. But away from the track, it would be difficult to convince anyone that this country is entirely stable. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera. Well, our special correspondent joins us now on the line from just outside Manama, and we're not revealing his name for security reasons. Thank you very much for speaking to us. The uh, demonstrators had said they would uh, basically do everything, they would try everything to disrupt the race. It has gone ahead. W what's been their reaction? Well, the protesters have actually been quite quiet today, uh, surprisingly quiet, I have to say, because the last few days that I've been here, it's been incredibly uh, restive on the streets of Manama and in the Shia villages that surround the capital. Uh, but I think today there's been a combination of two things which have kept things relatively uh, peaceful. And that is one that it's a working day here in Bahrain. So uh, compared to the weekends, most people have actually been at their jobs rather than out onto the streets. But also there has been an enormously heavy police presence. Mm. I've been driving around in the Shia villages uh, to see what was, it was like out there. And there, it's almost like a virtual curfew. There is uh, hardly anybody on the streets. It's very, very quiet. All you see are these patrols of police, uh, four by fours, uh, cruising through the streets and, and uh, lots of very heavily armed riot police actually out walking through the villages uh, with their shotguns and, and their sticks. So I think there's a combination of those two things which have actually kept the level of protest quite low today. I mean, there have been a, a few incidents. There have been some burning tyres that have been put out onto the road uh, and uh, a, a few rounds of tear gas that's often in some of the villages. But mostly, um, especially if you compare it to the last few days, it's been pretty quiet. But that's not mm. to say that it won't get more violent later. Things do tend to get um, slightly more ugly as the night falls. And as you move into night time, that's when the youth start coming out into the streets and that's when the, the real clashes start happening. All right. Uh and you were at the race earlier. What was the atmosphere like inside the racetrack and any sense of the tensions that we've seen leading up to the event? No, none at all. I mean, that's the thing about the, the Formula One uh, machine. It kind of exists in a sort of bubble. And so the people who've actually been inside the racetrack, they are basically from overseas. Most of the people who were there that I saw were foreigners. They come from the West. They come from... Uh, the Far East, there it seems to be quite a few Indians and Malaysians and, and Europeans there. Very, very few Bahrainis. So it seems that the people who've actually been there have been enjoying this, you know, the events as they would do. But the people who actually live in the country where it's being held have stayed away in droves. They really didn't want anything to do with this. Okay, thank you very much, our correspondent there on the line from Manama in Bahrain.